Hi everyone, this is Heather Lawton in from the Flourish Academy, where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, we're going to explore the new texture slider inside of Lightroom. We're going to use it to soften skin. But first, please check out our sponsor, YM Camera, for all of your photography needs. And hey, listen, if you're enjoying these videos that are free, <laughs> please subscribe, leave a comment and share with your photographer friends. It helps us to produce more videos. The new non-destructive texture slider available is both a global adjustment, that means the entire image, and as a local adjustment in Lightroom Classic can be used to decrease or increase the appearance of texture in a photograph while still retaining fine details. Moving the slider to the left will reduce unwanted medium-sized details, like for smoothing skin, for instance, while moving it to the right enhances medium-sized details in a photograph. Maybe you would want to use this to intensify um, texture in a landscape photo, for example. But in this video, I want to specifically see what this does to skin. So before I show you how to apply this, what I did was I, I wanted to compare this to clarity because in the past we've used clarity to soften skin. So this is a photo I took of my daughter prior to her prom. This was the before image. This is with some minor adjustments. And in this photo, I used clarity in order to smooth her skin. In this photo, I used texture. And in this photo, I used both. I did it just to her forehead. I don't know if you could tell that. And then here we are back to the original. So let's zoom in and take a look at that again. I'm sure she loves me zooming in on her skin in these videos. Okay, this is before. She has a little bit of texture. So I thought, well, let's work with the texture slider. This was clarity. So I used the adjustment brush just to brush over her forehead. And that's clarity at negative 100. In fact, let me reveal that brush by pressing K on the keyboard and then selecting that pin. And you can see that the clarity is down at negative 100. In this next photo, we have texture. So let me do that again. Here is clarity at negative 100. And here is the texture at, let me press K to reveal that tool again, texture at negative 100. And then in this photo, I actually put both of them on. I used two pins to create two adjustments. And I'm just going to press H to hide those pins. And if we look at the overall before and after, that's with both texture and clarity at negative 100. It is obviously way too far. You would never want to do this to skin, but I just wanted to show you the differences between the two. I think what you'll notice is that texture attempts to retain the luminosity, the lights and the darks, because if you look at the clarity, it's a very flat adjustment. It's essentially blurring all of the pixels. So let's take a look at this photo so that we can apply this adjustment. And I already have this tool selected. You would press K on your keyboard to grab the adjustment brush. I'm going to make this brush bigger with my right bracket key and I'm going to leave auto mask turned on. I just want to constrain this adjustment to her skin. So I'll leave that on. Flow and density, I'll leave at 100. I'm going to press O in order to show my mask overlay. And I'm actually not going to apply this adjustment just yet. I'm going to brush over her forehead to make that selection. And you know what? Since we're here and we're doing this, let me zoom out. Oh, that looks fantastic. I have that exposure turned down. Let me double click that back to zero. Make this brush smaller with my left bracket key. I'm just going to quickly select her entire face. And now that I have everything selected, I'm going to press O in order to hide that mask overlay. We have all of our adjustments set to zero, so nothing is happening just yet. But what we can do is pull the texture down and you can take that as far as you'd like. I have that at negative 100. You could pull the clarity down to negative 100. And if we take a look at that before, and after, you can see that that is way, way too soft. So what I would recommend doing when working with skin is pulling down on the texture a little bit more probably than the clarity because again, it retains the luminosity. 
until the skin looks a little bit better, but not so soft that the pixels start to blur too much. So if we look at the before and after, that looks like a nice subtle difference, but let's zoom in and check that before and after. Very good. So it removed some of the appearance of the texture, but didn't take it away completely because I think that would be a mistake. I think softening skin is going to be a combination of texture and clarity. You could also experiment with adding a little bit of light to the skin as well as pulling down on the sharpness, maybe even the contrast. You'll just have to experiment with these different sliders and see what works best for you in your photos. Remember, the art of retouching is for it to be subtle yet significant. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.